What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another round of Word of With Art. As you know, on my channel, currently all I do is challenges because, to be quite frank, I've gotten slightly bored of just playing straight Wordle where I just use, you know, either the same word every day or even just changing the word every day. It just doesn't really create enough of a challenge. Um, so what I'm going to do today, um, I'm kind of in a funny mood. Um, I thought, hey, look, the name of this channel is Rise to the Equation. My original intention was to make this a pure math channel. But one thing led to another. I got mildly addicted to Wordle. So why don't we make sure that every single entry in today's Wordle is math related, okay? And I'll really try to make it so that, you know, nobody, even the pure math enthusiasts, nobody will be able to quibble with any of my entries. All right. So what do you guys think? How about starting off with a really, really great starting word? I think we all remember learning about prime numbers. I don't think you could argue one bit that that would have uh, anything other than uh, a math theme behind it. So let's try prime and see how we do. Nothing. Prime gave us zero. Okay. Prime gave us absolutely zero. So what could we do next? Um, we could think of some numbers. Three is not very good because, you know, we'll only get three extra letters out of it. Four, you could do fours. That's actually not terrible. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then you can do things like 50, 60, 70. I, obviously, I'm trying to search for like a brand new. Slope is, is actually not bad, right? The slope of a line, but we already have the P and the E. You could even do lines, graph, but we repeat the P and the R. Oh, boy. Hmm. Um, <laughs> you could even do maths. That's honestly, that's hmm, that's not the not so bad, actually. Of, of all the ones I've entertained, that's the one at least that gets you the most um, new letters. So, yeah, let's do maths. Oh, man. This math theme is not paying off for me today. So we do have an S. I mean, if I do slope, I get the S-L-O and I position the S. is not terrible. But I'm just, you know, a little nervous about repeating mm, that P and E. I mean, it's not an outright disaster, but it is pretty close, isn't it, guys? Let's go for it. Oof. So we're on guess number four, and the only thing I have achieved is getting my S positioned. And um, for those who watch me, you know that S is my least favorite letter, but just because there are so many words that begin with S, and many of them can create little traps. All right. Now, of course, the answer itself does not have to be math-related. Maybe we can start to hunt down the answer. Um, Uh-oh. Yeah, it's, it could be – so it could be sunny. Yeah, it could be sunny. That's actually a pretty darn good guess. Uh it could be I it could be snuck. You know why? Because I think we had we had sneak but not snuck. So here's the deal, okay? Uh we don't have to do this in hard mode. Um we don't have to do this in hard mode. Um, but we could do a test word that uses like this C U N. Um, whoops, careful with my mic. Okay. With the C U N, um, as a math word though, hmm. You know, oh man. That almost looks like functions, funks. I'm actually very tempted to try that out. No, it doesn't take it. Too bad. Um, but look at those guys. I mean, those first three are beautiful. Prime, maths, and slope. Um, could I go back to a number? Would a number be useful at this point? Uh, not really. I really need that C-U-N. Uh, 
um, we have to have a math word. We have to justify it because basically, yeah, right, here's what I see. I see Sunny. I see Snuck. Um, I see... Uh, skunk. Oh, ouch. I see scuff. Shoot. Yeah, we've got a lot. So of all of those, um, let's start thinking math here. Um, So we did our prime, we did our math, we did our slope. Um, there's calcs. I bet it would take that. That's uh, not very good at all. In fact, it's pretty close to terrible. <laughs> um, it would be a, it would literally test one letter. So you know, we don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> this is actually really good. Funds. It's actually really good. But the problem is that is it really math related? No. I mean, it represents a quantity, you know, that maybe you have available to invest. But yeah, that's not going to work. Shoot. Um, hmm. We could think geometrically. Of course, there's a chord, but that's pretty close to terrible. It only gets you the C and the D. Um, hmm. Value is definitely math related. Uh, solve. Uh, value, I guess, is not bad. It would get me the V and the U, but I don't think that V is useful at all. And we know where we're going to pretty much have a U anyway, so it's just going to have a yellow U and I'm still going to be stuck. Um, sinus. Um, I know it looks like sinus infection, but I do believe that you can use sinus, um, like that's, I think the correct Latin term for the sine wave. Uh, it gets me my N and my U, but then I'm still going to be stuck with like sunny, although the N would be center. Sinus. Let's actually, you know, I don't think this is really cheating, but let's just double check. Um, Define sinus. It's actually really not, no, it's really not correct. It doesn't really have anything to do with it like I thought. So we will not do sinus. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, oh, here's a good one. Oh, cusps. So cusps, guys, are kind of like little kinks in your graph, okay? Cups, cusps are little kinks in your graph, like this. Do you see how my fingers are pointing like that? Where my fingers meet, that would be a cusp in the graph, if you imagine um, kind of like a curve going along through my hands there. That's actually not bad. I mean, what is it getting me, though? It's getting me the C and the U, which would pretty much help confirm like this, a snuck type word. And then I could follow it up with something, hopefully with the N, but I, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's try it. All right, so it's not going to be snuck or anything like that. Um, so we're still, and it's not sunny, okay? So I do think we're looking something like this, and I'm kind of leaning towards that skunk. <laughs> I think this is the day to have a skunk. I think cusps might have ended up being a really good guess for that reason, um, because the U is certainly going to go, yeah. The U is certainly, I mean, let's just double check SU. Oh, no. No, okay. There, there's no U there. I'm being silly. So, yeah, I mean, it's most certainly going to go here. And, um, yeah, I have to go there. And what else would it be? Yeah, it's going to have to be skunk. We got rid of the snuck, right? Thanks to cusps. So, oh, there's something else. Mm. Snuff. It could be snuff. Okay. 
So we, we have to just get it. We have to test an F. Let's just do 50. Okay. Please, skunk. Good, right? You have to admit, guys, that you, I had to do that final little test at the end there uh, because if it ended up being snuff and I put in skunk, I would have still had one more guess available, but I would have failed the challenge because um, skunk really doesn't have anything to do with math. But we did it, guys. Look at that. I can't make the skunk have anything to do with math, but I certainly made everything up to that point deal with math. Prime numbers, maths, by the way, here in the U.S., we call it math, but I know elsewhere, especially in the U.K., they call it moths. Slope of a line, cusps of a graph, 50 is a number. Bam, we did not skunk this one. We absolutely nailed it. Very satisfying, especially to fill it all up with five math words and get it on to sixth guess. What do you guys think? How did I do? Could I have done a little bit better? And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for yet another round of Challenge Edition with Art.